Hi team, happy Sunday. We made it to the end of the week. It was touch and go. It was very touch and go. Um, I hope you're all feeling fab today, although a little bit achy. Those of you who haven't met Claire before, this is Claire. Um, Claire is going to be taking you guys through yoga today. I'm butting out, leaving you alone. I'm going to do yoga with you. Um, for those of you who'd like to use the playlist, the link is in the chat. Same as our usual playlist. Just make sure that you start from the beginning and not on shuffle, and then it will go through the order that Claire intended. Um, but I am going to hand over to Claire. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Lily. Perfect. Well, if you're all ready to begin, you can press play now on the playlist. Lovely. And yeah, I'll be taking you through a nice, gentle practice just to wake up, just to cool down the body and relax on your Sunday evening. So if you've got your cushions ready and potentially a belt or not necessary, but if you do have one nearby you, then that's great. Uh, a dressing gown cable can also work as well. So we're gonna start by lying down on the mat, taking our cushions and just placing the cushions just underneath the legs. So I find two cushions work quite nicely, but if you've only got one, don't worry, it will still have the same effect. So we're just going to lie down on our backs and just rest. So I invite you down to close down the eyes. By having the legs elevated slightly, this will just help drain without any stiffness. If you've been running lots this week or just doing a lot of lower body work, this is a really nice way just to rest and take any strain out of the legs. And you can place one hand on your belly and one hand on your heart center. And just breathe into these areas. And this is just sending signals to your brain to calm down the nervous system. To arrive on the mat and let go, let go of the week and the day. Try to focus on this moment. Your breath, the sounds around you. And just noticing how you're feeling in the body, but also in the mind as well. Welcoming all sensations, all feelings, all experiences, any signs of resistance, welcoming everything here and just being still. Relaxing your face, letting go of tension within the jaw. And start to take some really nice deep breaths. Feel the belly rising on the inhale. And as you exhale, noticing the body just feeling that little bit heavier, softening. And resting. And gently taking the neck, rolling the neck from side to side. You can take the hands by your side and gently draw the knees in towards the bed, the body. And just rock from side to side. And just with a bit of momentum, we're going to rock all the way up. And as you rock up, you can gently move the pillows from underneath. 
we're going to cross over the legs and come into our tabletop position. And as you're coming into your tabletop position, just notice where your hands are. So they need to be just underneath the shoulders, wrists underneath the shoulders, knees are hip width apart. And on the inhale, we're gonna drop the belly, lift the chest. And on the exhale, we're gonna round the spine, tuck the chin in and really push away from the floor with the hands and get some space around the back of the shoulders. Inhale, chest comes forward, arch in the back. Exhale, rounding through the spine, tuck the tailbone in and create some space around the shoulders. Inhale, chest comes forward, arch the back. And noticing with the movement, the breath is in time with these breath, it's with these moves. So on the exhale, you round. And on the inhale, you send the chest forward. So yoga is literally about just moving in time with the breath and enjoying the practice, not focusing too much on the shapes, but how it feels within the body. Taking one more drop into the chest, lifting up the belly, taking neutral spine. We're gonna bring the fingertips to the top of the mat and just gently lowering the chest down on the floor, keeping the hips up high. So the hips are nice and high, but we're just dropping down the chest. And you should feel this through the chest area. Take a nice deep breath and exhale, melting your heart to the mat. So this is melting heart pose, or it's also called puppy dog pose. Nice deep breath. Really nice for those shoulders and the chest if it feels tight at all. Lovely. And then as you inhale, moving on to the belly, lifting up the head. And you're in your sphinx pose, forearms are on the mat. Nice deep breath. And as you exhale, lowering the chest, take the hands by the side of your chest area, dropping the head, tucking the toes. Hips come up and sliding your hips all the way back towards the heel. As you inhale, send the hips all the way up towards the sky. And just gently stepping out the feet left and right. Stretching out those hamstrings. And just remembering to take a nice deep breath. And it doesn't matter if your heels are not touching the ground. The important thing is your spine is nice and long with a gentle stretch in the hamstrings. Taking one nice deep breath here. And then we're gonna ripple forward into our plank pose on the exhale. We're gonna lower down the knees, bring the chest down to the mat, point the elbows back. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, hips come to the heels. Inhale, send the hips all the way up. I'm going to repeat this movement just a few times and this will create a little bit more heat within the body, warm the body up and get us into a nice flow for the practice. Inhale, coming through to plank. Drop the knees, drop the chest, elbows point back. Inhale, send the body forward, lifting the chest. Exhale, tuck the toes, hips come to heels. Inhale, hips come to the ceiling, downward facing dog. One more time, ripple forward like you're a wave coming all the way forward. Drop the knees, drop the chest. Inhale, chest comes forward. Exhale, hips come to the heels. And this time we're going to stay here in our downward, in our child's pose. And then gently lifting up onto the knees, coming all the way up. Inhale, reaching up towards the sky. 
Exhale, hands come behind the back, interlace the fingertips, stretching through the chest. And gently releasing the hands to the mat, coming onto the toes. And then we're gonna roll all the way up to, to our forward fold at the back of the mat. And then inhale, rolling the shoulders all the way up. Coming through to standing, take the shoulders back. Lovely. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Walk the hands all the way to plank pose. Drop the knees, drop the chest, drop the chin, sweeping the chest forward. Exhale, tuck the toes, hips come to the heels. Inhale, lifting up the hips to downward facing dog. Gonna bend the knees and then just push the knees in towards your plank position and then take the hips back. So we're just warming up the shoulders, just softly. One more time, bend the knees, hips come to heels. And as you come forward, step both feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Take the feet hip width apart, gently bend the knees and just rock side to side. So you should be at the top of your mat, lovely. And you're just rocking. And just let the face relax, keep a really soft bend in the knees here. And just letting it feel really nice, letting your body feel really heavy. Beautiful. And then we're going to bring the right fingertips to the mat, bend the right knee and lift the left hand all the way up. You should feel a nice stretch in the left hamstring. Inhale in. Exhale, deep breath. One more breath, inhale. Exhale. Bringing the fingertips to the mat. And then this time bend the left, left, left knee and right fingertips reach up. Taking three breaths here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Sitting the, the hips back and we're just coming into a little squat here. This is a nice way just to open up the hips. You can move slightly, it doesn't matter if your heels again aren't touching. We're gonna work with our hips today just through this next this ne these next few minutes, we're just working out any tension that we hold from running. It's really important we keep the hips nice and flexible. Taking the hands to the mat, lifting the hip heel, hips all the way up to the sky, forward fall. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, hands come to the mat, step the left foot back reaching the arms all the way up towards the sky. So in a high lunge, inhale here. Exhale, open up the arms, twisting over towards the right. Inhale, hands come towards the center. Exhale, twist and open towards the left. Inhale, hands come through to center. Exhale, bring the fingertips to the mat. Left hand stays in the mat, right hand reaches up. Lovely. And then gently bring in the right hand underneath the right uh, thigh, hugging in towards the body, exhaling. And as you inhale, reaching the arm all the way up. Exhale, hand comes underneath the leg, hugging yourself in. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hand comes all the way down, hugging yourself into the body. 
lowering the left left knee to the mat. Heel toe your right foot out towards the right side of the mat and you're in your lizard pose. Lovely. So just staying here in your lizard pose. If this is comfortable for you on your fingertips, staying up on your hands or you can take a cushion, come onto the forearms or you may not even need to use the cushion and if you're feeling flexible today, you might want to come all the way onto your forearms. Up to you, just making sure you've got a comfortable edge here so you don't want to be overstretching because your body will just lock up. Just enough to feel a nice deep stretch within the hip. Remembering to take some nice deep nourishing breaths into the body. Lovely. And then gently bringing the right toes in towards the center of the mat, lifting up the fingertips towards the sky. Take a little back bend if you wish, as far as you can go. Exhale, hands come down to the mat, rolling onto the right ankle and just stretching out the right leg. So right fingertips are pointing towards the ceiling. And you're sitting back just until you feel that stretch in the back of the right hamstring. And you can look forward and just come and fold over that right leg as just as wherever it feels comfortable. Lovely, taking one nice deep breath here. And then walking your fingertips to the top of the mat. Sweeping the right foot all the way back. Taking the right foot toes back towards the end, the back of the mat. And then point the right toes behind you. Left hand comes on, right hand stays in the mat, left hand comes onto the heart. And either staying here in this position or you can lengthen the left fingertips forward. Inhale here. Exhale, draw the right knee towards the left elbow. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, see if you can take the left hand all the way back and taking hold of the right foot. Beautiful, looking really nice, everyone. Lovely. And then exhale, release. Coming into all fours. Tuck the toes, hips come back to the heels. And then inhale, send the hips all the way up towards the sky. Taking a nice deep breath here. And exhale. Inhale, look forward to the top of the mat, stepping your feet to meet the hands, look forward, fingertips come on the shins. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, fingertips come all the way towards the sky. Reach up. And then exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Taking a moment just to find your breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, reaching the hands all the way up, nice and high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, this time, step your left, your right foot back. Inhale, reach the hands all the way towards the sky. Exhale, open out towards the left. 
Inhale, hands comes heart to up, up to the ceiling. Exhale, open up towards the right. Inhale, hands come back towards the center. Exhale, bringing the fingertips all the way down towards the mat. Right hand stays into the mat, left hand reaches up. Inhale, exhale, hug the left hand underneath. Inhale, open up. Exhale, left hand swoops underneath you. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, sweeping that hand all the way underneath. Taking the hand towards the mat, this time heel toe your left toes out to the left side of the mat. Drop the right knee. And you're taking your lizard pose now on the opposite side. So find your appropriate edge. Again, this could be on the hands or you might want to feel like you want to go lower. Just whatever position you find, try to stay as still in that position as possible. And you also might find that one side might be a little bit more open than the other. That's totally normal. So we're just going to stay with the breath. And if it starts to feel really intense, then you can move or make yourself feel a little bit more relaxed. But try to just breathe into the area to release the tightness before making any sudden movements. The longer we stay in a pose, then the longer it works our connective tissues in the body, which will help create lengthening and flexibility. And this happens when we stay in the same position just for usually around about a minute, the body will just start to relax. And that's when the magic happens. And gently bringing the finger mat, the fingertips onto the mat if you have your forearms there. Heel toe your feet in towards the center and then gently sit the hips back onto the heels. Point the left toes up towards the sky and feel that delicious stretch down the left leg. Taking some nice deep breaths. And on the exhale, see if you can just bend over that left leg a little bit more, a bit more. But again, just find whatever feels comfortable. Take nice deep nourishing breaths into the body. And then gently walking the fingertips to the top of the mat. Hands are framing the left foot. And then we're sweeping that left foot all the way behind. Touch the toes to the back of the mat. Gently lift the leg behind you. Take the right hand to your heart or your chest area. And if this feels good, reach that right finger hands forward. Inhale. Exhale, curl the left knee in towards the body. Right elbow touches the left knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, taking the fingertips behind and see if you can take that bind. Lovely. And we can push the, thing, the foot into the back of the hand for more stability. Looking really nice. Lovely, and then gently release. Taking the hips to the heels and just pausing here in your child's pose. And 
just taking a moment just to reconnect the breath. Then taking a nice deep breath into the belly, moving into our tabletop, tuck the toes, lifting up the hips, downward facing dog. Right leg raises, keep the hips nice and square. So what I mean there is try not to bend in any, in any way through the spine, spine's nice and long. And they're going to step that right foot all the way to the top of the mat. And then keeping the left hand in towards the mat, right hand reaches up. This time we're going to lower the back knee, circle the hand in a big, big circle all the way front. And as you reach back, taking hold of the left foot and the right hand, stretching out your thigh, your quadricep. And really think about externally rotating that shoulder, the right shoulder, so you're not hunched over, but you're nice and open through the chest. And if you're unable to take hold of the back leg, you can use a strap or anything for that extra bit of length. Nice. Remembering to breathe. Nice. And then gently release, taking the hands, framing the right foot. This time might sound a bit strange, but we're going to walk the right the heel toe, the right foot, all the way over to the left. So we're crossing over our body with that right leg. And then you're taking your hands on the outside edge of the right leg. So it's almost like we're just a little bit back to front here with our leg movements. That's how it should feel. Not too natural. But what this does is it's stretching out our IT band which is also super important. And you can take your hands over as far over towards the right for extra stretching here, for a bit more intensity. A really good stretch for runners. Lovely. And then gently heel toe that right foot all the way back. Bringing the hips forward. And then we're gonna bring that right foot over towards the left, lowering that right, the right knee towards the mat. And then setting up for our pigeon pose. So keeping the hips nice and square. And then exhaling over the right leg. If anyone's suffering with any funny niggly knees, you can take this position lying on your back. Give me a wave if you want me to show you. Looking good from where I can see, so that's all good. So we're just gonna stay here for a few breaths. And we're allowing the body just to know it, that it's okay to relax. And the more we, we relax into this position, the more benefits we will gain from the stretch. And just taking a moment to so check in with the breathing. And thinking about all the amazing things that your body is capable of. and how good it is to be able to move and look after our bodies in the way that we do. So 
Taking some nice deep breaths. Notice if you're holding on to any tension in the jaw, soften those cheeks. And then gently, we're going to bring ourselves onto our forearms. Keep the chin tucked in towards the chest. Take the hands to the mat first. And then as you inhale, look up towards the sky. And as you exhale, tuck the left toes and swoop the right toe foot all the way back to our downward facing dog. And just gently pedal out the feet here, left and right. Notice if you can feel a difference here on your right side versus your left. If you can't feel anything just yet, that's also fine, that's also okay. Knowing that your body will thank you for this later. Nice. And then on the next inhale, we're going to raise the left leg up towards the sky, pointing those toes. And then exhale, left foot comes all the way up and gently places onto the mat there in front of you. Your hands are framing that left foot. And then gently we're going to circle the right hand all the way back, taking hold of the left hand all the way back, taking hold of the right foot. And just stretching out that right side. We're just going to even ourselves out now on this side and then have a nice rest. Lovely. Gently release. Take the left toes over towards the right side. Stretching out the left IT band. So left foot's over by the right side of the mat. Nice. And then we're going to keep, we can actually keep those left toes by the right side of the mat and just roll our hips forward, placing our left knee down and coming up to coming down to pigeon on the left side. So whatever way feels comfortable to get into this position. And then we're gonna roll our body over that left leg. And just setting, settling down here in our pigeon pose, our sleeping swan as it's sometimes called. And just resting. Soaking up all of those delicious movements. Keeping the breath nice and soft. And we're going to jump, come up onto our forearms now. Chin stays tucked in towards the chest. Inhale, look up towards the ceiling. And exhale, tuck the back toes. Taking a final downward dog and just pedaling out those feet. 
it feel nice and even on both sides. And then slowly we're going to make our way down to our backs. So coming onto our back, whatever way feels comfortable. Gently hugging the knees in towards the chest. Giving yourself a big squeeze. And allowing the knees just to rock over towards the left side. And you can take the hands behind you and just let your head rock over towards the right. So you're looking in the opposite direction towards your knees. And then swapping the knees over towards the right side, just taking a twist on each side of the body. Gently bring the knees back in towards the chest, hook the knees in towards you. Bring the toes all the way up towards the sky. Rub the back of your knees, just bring some awareness to your hamstrings, to your legs. You might be feeling a bit tight after lots of strength training and running with the leg. And just hugging, keeping the legs nice and long. And just placing a little bit of pressure on the backs of your thighs just to keep the legs lifted and drawn in towards the body. And then slowly we're going to take the hands away and just lower the legs all the way down. Keep the spine in towards the mat if you can. So you should feel your core switch on until the feet relax on the mat. And now you can just rest in this pose. Nothing else to do. Coming into your Shavasana, your final pose. And it's just a really nice way to end, end the practice. Moving into your Sunday evening and resting and soaking up all the movements, allowing the body just to register and take in what you've just done, what your body has done. It's called rest and digest, feeling completely relaxed. knowing whatever comes up the next week, knowing you've totally got whatever's going to be coming to you. If you have time to stay here in your Shavasana, feel free to stay here for as long as you like. Or if you're ready to move, you can gently start to deepen the breath. Maybe rock your head from side to side. 
maybe you won't wiggle the fingers, but and then gently coming, rocking onto your side, whichever side feels comfortable. And take your hands underneath your cheek. And just taking a moment here to just think of something that you would like to leave behind on the mat today, whether that's a thought or feeling or something which you think is, you don't want to bring into the rest of your evening or the next week. And then one thing that you want to embody for Monday, for the rest of the evening, if it's a feeling or even a mantra or positive positivity. And gently bringing yourself up to seated position. You're welcome to keep your eyes closed. And on the inhale, you can bring the shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale, roll them back. Take the hands to heart center. Rubbing the hands together, keeping the eyes closed. Gently rub the hands together and place them over your eyes. Soaking up all of the energy you've just created. That's really relaxing. Gently blinking, uh, uh, blinking the eyes open. Taking the hands away. Thank you, everyone. Namaste. Have a lovely evening. It's very nice to be here. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much, Claire. That was lovely. I feel like I'm going to fall asleep now. Has anyone else fallen asleep? <laughs> I've got another class to teach. <laughs> Thank you so much, Claire. Um, I'm sure everyone super enjoyed today's session. Um, as always, guys, I'll upload today's session into True Coach as well. So if you want to use it at any additional points um, throughout your training over the next few weeks or whenever um, you've got it, and we will see Claire again very, very soon. <laughs> Thank um, you. If, no worries. If anyone's got any questions um, on next week's training just let me know april training is being loaded in over the next 48 hours so you should see everything start to update or hide from everything updating over the next 48 hours um and just give me a shout if you need anything guys all right bye bye, bye. bye. thank bye. you thank you bye